Two details tonight on efforts to cut down on crime in Kennedy Plaza and make the downtown area safer for pedestrians. Two at six, we're talking with former Providence Mayor Joe Palino, who's spearheading the effort to make the area safer and more appealing. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russell is live in Providence with more. Joe Paolino says tomorrow is when he can go into greater detail about how they plan to address the issue of panhandling at Kennedy Plaza. Kennedy Plaza sits at the center of the city and is one of the most highly traveled areas in Providence, home to bus stops, parks, and panhandlers. We have to curtail it, eliminate panhandling. Joe Paolino is the former mayor of Providence and has a business by the plaza. He leads a group of other business owners, city officials, social service providers, and police. Their goal is to come up with a plan to address the issue. And at the same time, that gave us, though, an opportunity to look at other deep-rooted problems, problems of homeless that's legitimate. Asking for money on the street is perfectly legal. The city even stopped enforcing an aggressive panhandling ordinance after multiple federal lawsuits. You said the mayor wants Kennedy Plaza to resemble something like a Central Park, but is that possible? Well, it's a lot smaller version, but I believe it is possible. And you can get that. We, we could have farmers markets there on weekends. We could have artists drawing and sketching and, and painting buildings. We could take the building that's in Kennedy Plaza and maybe Rhode Island School Design could make that into, let's say, a museum. On the city council agenda for Thursday, there is an ordinance that would not allow panhandlers to stop a car and ask for money. We are working to get more details on that. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.